Hey guys, it's me, Liesl, from Langmaster Learning System. In today's lesson, we'll continue practicing listening to stories. I believe that these simple stories are really good for beginners. Now, before we start, I really hope that you guys have subscribed to this wonderful channel. A Gap Year Max decided to take a gap year. He came to this decision because he did not know what he should do for a living when he left school. Therefore, before graduating, he wanted to spend time by himself to find the answer. In this way, he thought he could find his own suitable career path. During the gap year, he traveled around his country. Whenever he came to a new place, he had a chance to learn many amazing things. This helped him come to a final decision. He wanted to become a blogger. He would write blogs about traveling and provide some tips for his readers. By using the gap year wisely, he finally had his life goal. A storm. A thunderstorm lashed Luna's village last week. It had a devastating effect on the village. Houses were badly damaged. But luckily, no one suffered injuries. There were a few houses that were safe. One of them was Luna's. People in the village would start to repair houses this week. For this reason, Luna wanted to give them a helping hand. She then encouraged her friends and relatives to raise a fund with the purpose of assisting people who suffered from the anger of nature. Luckily, she successfully raised a huge amount of money. This sum was very helpful. It assisted people who were living under the poverty line to repair their houses. Luna was so glad she thanked her friends and all the people who helped her raise this meaningful fund. This was one of the most wonderful things she did this year. The Extra Class Yesterday, Margaret came to pick up her son at the new extra class. However, Margaret arrived 
before her son's class was over, as she wanted to know more about the learning environment of his extra class, and went to the classroom where her son studied. However, when Margaret stepped into the classroom, all of the students came straight to her and welcomed her with warm smiles. Margaret was very surprised by the way the students treated her. One little child took out a pair of slippers for her. Another took her a glass of water. Then they started asking questions. One being why she had arrived so early at the classroom. Margaret said she was looking for her son, Oliver. The students said he was helping their teacher with a small task. So, Margaret had to wait. While waiting, she had a cheerful conversation with those students. Fifteen minutes later, the teacher and her son came back. Oliver was very surprised when he saw his mother. Then, Margaret said hi to the teacher and they had a short conversation. She gave the teacher a compliment for the way he managed all of the students in the classroom. She was truly amazed. Margaret was extremely pleased. Then she took Oliver home. She kept thinking that sending her son there was one of the greatest choices she had ever made. The Library John goes to the library every Friday afternoon. The library is located inside his school. It is very large and contains a huge number of books. About so many different subjects, such as science, literature, math, and geography. It is a very quiet place, as students are not allowed to make idle chatter inside the library. And so, this helps John stay focused and finish his research faster. For John, there is no other place better than this library. He really needs a quiet place to study. The important thing is that everyone who comes to this library is mindful of the library's rules. So, 
there are no unpleasant sounds that might bother the other people while staying inside the library. The Diary Next week, there will be a family get-together at Emma's house. Emma lives with her grandma. To prepare for this wonderful event, she needs to tidy their house. While cleaning their old wardrobe, she sees a small diary fall out of it. It must belong to her grandma. Then, Emma takes it to her grandma. Grandma! Grandma! Look what I found. Is this yours? May I please read it? Yes, my dear child. Her grandma smiled. Wow, this is your diary, right? Grandma, when did you start writing this diary? Oh, my child, let me think. I think it was written at the time I graduated from the university. I was the same age as you right now. At that time, I thought my life was turning to a new page. Oh, I thought I will have so many things to do. I started writing in my diary every day so that when I grew old, I could take a look at it. Wow, that's amazing, Grandma, Emma said. Look at this. <gasps> you stole a papaya from Mr. Idiot's garden? Oh, my word. This is so adorable, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> don't you laugh. I was very mischievous at that time, just like you are now. <gasps> no, Granny, I'm a very good child. <laughs> Emma, my sweetheart, if you like it, you can take it. Oh, yes. Oh, I really want to keep it. Granny, I think now I will start writing a diary of my own. It will be so much fun. Brilliant idea, my child. Write everything about your life in it. When you're as old as me, it will help you remember all the good memories you used to have. Thanks, Grandma. That's all. Thank you so much for joining me today. And now do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to join our amazing English classes or want to know more information, please leave your contacts in the comment box below. Once again, thank you so much for learning with us.
I'll see you in the next lesson.